Welcome back to the channel everybody and another episode of Game Pass. I've got a studio show today because I recently went to Kmart and found that they actually sell some gaming accessories and a lot of them are on clearance so I actually grabbed a bunch um, so they're mainly for the, well actually they're all for the Nintendo Switch and the PlayStation 5 so I've grabbed a bunch of them and what we're going to do on the video today is just open them up, have a look at them, see how practical they are if they're worth buying it and um, just basically giving you my thoughts on what these accessories are. So like I said, they're, these are all from Kmart. Um, all of these are on clearance, um, but there's plenty of other um, accessories there, and some for PC as well. So let's get into the video. So first up, we've got the Nintendo Switch clear case, as you can see here. So we're gonna try and pop this into the Switch and see how it works. So that side fits in snugly. So this, remember this is the OLED model, so dimensions are a little bit bigger. As a matter of fact, I don't think this is gonna get in there. I don't wanna damage my console, so I'm not gonna keep trying. But you can see, you get the idea there on this side. It's got these little grips at the back, so when you are playing, it comes in nicely. Um, and yeah, you can definitely tell that this is for the older models, got the kickstand. Uh, slot there and some of the exhaust vents there. Obviously the OLED has the wide kickstand and none of the vents there, so How useful it's all you can probably get a better uh, Case a bit more value for money, um, but if you're on a budget or if you're, you know something For the kids switch or something like that um, It'll do the job. I think it's pretty well. It's pretty flappy, but it's the, um, the, the edges are pretty solid, so I think it'll do the job. The next accessory is the silicone grips for the Switch controller. So these are for the Joy-Cons, so we're going to go and remove the Joy-Cons from the console. And we're going to pop them into the vest, just like this. So that one's on there. So you can see that they're coming in the neon colours which are meant to mimic the um, Nintendo neon controller scheme, colour scheme. They also do come in a black variant as well. That came up. So you can go ahead and pop these, these sort of grips onto your joysticks. And this is what you end up with. New Neon Joy-Cons. So already there. Yeah, I mean, you can't tell much of a difference. They do have a bit more stronger grip on them, and they actually come with this sort of back padding thing, which is feeling a little bit more comfortable than what the Joy-Cons would be on their own. Um, but you can just see that it's, it's quite loose when you do pop it on there, um, and some of the slots don't really line up with where the button should be but it's um, not something I would put onto my Switch um, but if you're into this sort of stuff and the, um, the rubber grips for your joy joysticks um, they just add that extra grip to it which again I guess it just comes down to personal preference so yeah that's the Joy-Con grips for the Switch uh, controller. Alright the next accessory we're going to be looking at is the PlayStation 5 controller battery power pack so this is what you get in the pack you get this little battery pack and you get your USB-C cable so what this does with the looks of things is you mount it onto your PS5 controller just like this clip it in and it's meant to act as another battery pack for when your controller goes flat um, Got a little button on the top which you can press and it I guess it shows you how much percentage or how many bars are remaining on the controller and actually I've turned that on and you can see that the controller now is starting to glow to say that it's charging so the battery pack will actually charge your controller as well um, so when your controller goes flat so I guess it's handy to have when you are in the middle of a game and your controller is dying just to plug this, if as long as it's charged, 
just plug it onto the top of your controller and keep playing so it's good in that sense but I'm not too sure how much battery this actually will charge or what the um, charging rate is so that's um, I guess a trial and error sort of thing but it doesn't feel too bad it does make it a little bit more heavy but if you can see but on the back it's sort of the only problem is yeah you're gonna when you are playing you will knock that loose because it's just taking up all this space where your fingers are meant to rest um, so yeah it's, it's not very practical if it was just a single unit on the top that would have been fine but I guess it's uh, if you're you need something very quick and if you're gentle and don't uh, mind repositioning your hand it might be useful so yeah that's the PS5 battery controller power pack so the next accessory we've got is the PlayStation 5 charging dock the dual charging dock so a bit of assembly required so what you do is you take the base and you plug the tower onto the base and it comes up looking like that and I've got to say the the aesthetic of this actual unit fits in perfectly with the PlayStation 5 aesthetic as well so that's a neat touch so yeah install that onto there it does come with a USB-C charger as you can see there so that there plugs into the back of the unit right there and then the other side into your power source so you can see it comes with two slots for your controller and pretty straightforward you just slide the controller straight into that charging port just like that and then you're set and that'll charge your controller um, when you're not using it so it does have these little plastic sort of grips that holds it into place and then pulling it out it just comes straight out um, the only concern that I really have is that these are, these are plastic and they're sort of clamped so whether that's going to scratch your, your touchpad here or the back of your controller if you're liking your controller to remain in perfect condition uh, not too sure how much uh, scratching of the surface that's going to actually do in the long run but you can fit two controllers onto it and you just plug the USB into your power uh, source and you'll um, charge your controllers overnight or whatever so just comes out just like that and now as you can see I'll just pull it out and already it's coming loose so it'd be good if this actually clipped or maybe you screwed in once you put it in just to stop that from happening but um, it's practical it will probably charge the um, controller pretty well if you're leaving it overnight or something uh, you can probably see uh, there's got it's got lights attached to it as well um, which does mean if you were to plug it in the lights will should turn on so we'll just go ahead and so this straight into there and then you plug the other end into your power source and there you go so it just turns on automatically the nice blue light and then if we were to plug in the controller stays blue but you can see the controller is now starting to charge with the orange light at the top so I guess that's a good little if you've got the space to have a controller port to charge it definitely worth having um, and the, uh, the little lights are a nice touch as well it goes it just all fits within that uh, PlayStation aesthetic which I was talking about so the next set of accessories are these PlayStation 5 controller trigger set as you can see these are attachments that go onto your PlayStation 5 controller just to add a bit more grip or comfort um, to, uh, to your controller so we'll go ahead and apply them okay so you can see inside the triggers they've got a little adhesive I'm not going to peel these because I'm not going to actually use these and they don't actually okay so they don't actually stick like clip to the controller unless you um peel the adhesive because as you can see it just sits like that um, and what that does 
is adds extra length to the trigger. So you've got one for each of the triggers. As a matter of fact, so you've got different lengths, two different lengths for the triggers. So it just adds just a couple of millimeters to that one. Um, so two different lengths for your triggers. And then for the sticks, you can go ahead and add this extended stick, or you can just add the grip as well. Personally, I think the PlayStation 5 controller is already um, well designed. The triggers are at a good length and the sticks are pretty, they're, they're rubberized, so you've already got good grip to that. So personally, I wouldn't go for any of this stuff. Um, but if you're looking for something to add a bit of height to your control, like this, um, I guess it's, it's, it's made of rubber. Um, it adds that extra bit of height and a bit more grip to the sticks. But um, if you're into that sort of stuff, very good. Um, I myself am not, so I wouldn't have any use for these. The next item we have is a PlayStation 5 controller skin. And it's in the color black. It's a sort of a silicon skin that you can slide your controller into, which you're going to do right now. So just like that. So much like the um, the switch control, it just slides in like a jacket. It's very stretchy, so it is easy to apply. Just got to make sure you don't get anything caught on the sticks or the triggers as you're pulling it up. Around the back, behind the triggers, and there we go. So it's pretty tight to the controller. Um, Whereas the Switch Joy-Cons were pretty loose, but this one seems really tight for it. Um, it's lining up pretty neatly with the buttons. And including the little ports at the back as well, and of course the controller plug. Uh, but yeah, that's it actually feels alright. It's got extra grip, um, being silicon. Um, it's in black. So it just adds that extra level of uh, color, well, lack of color, I guess, to the controller. And it just wraps around really smoothly around the whole thing. There's no seam lines around any grip areas. And yeah, you can definitely feel a difference there. It does slide around a bit, but um, I'm guessing if, you, if you're keeping this on your controller for quite some time, it's just gonna adapt to it. So that's the PS5 controller skin. Um, yeah, if you're looking for that extra bit of comfort, extra bit of grip, you can definitely grab one of these and apply it to controller. Um, otherwise, if you're just looking for something, just maybe to change the colour of it, so if you're wanting to make it a bit more black. The, my only concern though, or my only issue is that, yeah, all these white sections are left out. I'm guessing this will go nicer on an all black controller, but um, as it stands right now, it's not too bad, so I don't actually mind that. Okay, so the last accessory to show is this PlayStation 5 LED console stand. Now, let's go ahead and open this up. So the last thing to show you from Kmart that we've got is this LED PlayStation 5 controller stand, uh, console stand. So let's go ahead and open them up. So it just comes with your little instruction manual, but we'll figure it out. It's pretty straightforward. So there it is, that's your console stand. So it comes with that, and it comes with this little USB cable. So on it, it's got a little power button, as you, if, I don't know if you can see that. Um, it's got this sort of grip at the top, which looks like, yeah. So it's an adhesive that you peel back. Uh, it must help with sticking to the console. I'm not going to peel that back because I have no intention of using this. So what we're going to do 
is so I've got the control uh, the PS5 stand right here so what this does is sit underneath that so there's a little slot here uh, which can which it sits in just like that as you can see and then the next thing you need to do is to grab your PS5 console attach it to the stand like so that's gonna kick in like that so it just rests on top of the stand um, and then what you want to do then from there is take your power cable from the back so you plug it into the light up stand and then from the light stand it goes into your console so let's see if we can show that off in the back there as you can see at the bottom there's a power cable that goes into one of the USB slots so the trade-off for this is you're going to lose one of your USB slots from the back so if you don't use the USB slots then then you won't miss it and then what's left to do give it some power turn your PS5 on and then down the bottom there you can see it's lighting up so it just changes colors so yeah I think it's a bit of a pointless accessory because one you lose your USB slot and two there's no need to add more height onto an already pretty high console so yep definitely pointless um, yeah, would not recommend. So that's the video for today. Thanks for watching. Uh, go through some of these accessories from Kmart. If you've got an accessory from Kmart, let us know what you bought in the comments below. And if it worked out for you, uh, maybe it didn't, maybe it did. So let us know. We want to hear from you. So don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date for when the next edition of Gamepad is going up on the channel. But thanks for watching. See you next time.